Hello, Monsters of here and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, Eight Princes, and my Simar UA campaign, where we are currently poised, poised, poised like a pouncing panther. Try saying that three times fast. To wipe out Ruan Shu here, he, he doesn't Ruan Shen even. He didn't know what's happening. He's uh, he's going to get absolutely smashed. We've got armies surrounding his territory on all sides. Um, this is fantastic. I just I. I know I keep saying this, but I just love the graphics for this game. Look how pretty this is. Oh, it's so... They really have aced the, the campaign map, I think. Uh, I mean, the Warhammer map looked good, but the Three Kingdoms map just looks... Just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love it. Okay, so with that, I think we've moved everyone, haven't we? Have we? Or did we end the turn and then move? Uh, I think... Do, wait. I think actually we're, we're ready. I think we ended the turn... I forgot. It's been a few days since I played it. It's fine. Uh, right, so we are ready. So let's the Empire must be led. take it out. Uh, so that's going to upset the Jin Empire, Sima Chi, and Ruin Shen. I don't really care. Uh, Strike as one. Uh, that's mine now. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. Yep. Let that wine flow. Apparently, apparently Simar A was like, you know what, I, I, that's that's too too spicy for my blood. You're on your own, mate. For order. Okay, Ready. let's head straight towards the iron mine there. I don't think we've got anyone up there. That's fine. Uh, we can come down here. We can lay siege Attack. over there. Do we want to... Uh, let's continue the siege for the moment. Where else does he have? He's got the lumber mill over here. Now, we do have this army down here. Now, this is the, the survivors of a faction that I wiped out last time. I've forgotten who they are, and it's not really important. Can I actually reach them? Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I'll just... Each victory brings stability to the realm. Bloop. Done. Um, I'll ransom. I am not without mercy. Okay, Sima Chi. That's who it was. Forgot. It's not important. Uh, right, so we've got an army over here. What we need to do is take the small city. But we should be able to grab that fairly easily. We also need to take the city down here. Uh, but I think it's fair to say they don't really have much in the way of... Um, Warriors, attend. Of armies. Let fury explode and lay them low. So let's... To be honest, that should be fairly straightforward. Let's take that. Stoke passions and strike. I think together we should be able to mop that up pretty quickly. Uh, we should be able to grab the small city next turn. We can go down and grab that city as well and the iron mine. And I'm going to be honest, I think two turns and uh, Ruin Shen is, is fucked, basically. He's gone. They might have an army down here. But uh, frankly, I don't know how they're going to take on my five, six. One, two, three, four... A, a number of our mass is hard. A number of six armies. Um, I don't know how they're going to take all my six armies by themselves. Basically, they're screwed. And basically, we've got all the money in the world as well. So, uh, all good. All good. Unless you're them. In which case, not 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 so good. But otherwise, all good. So, I want something to make nobles happen. Why do nobles want a grain store? Bastards. Something that will keep the the dickheads happy. That's going to make them very unhappy. I'm actually finding public order... I mean, I, I like... I like the fact that they've removed the population from causing public order. Because that did mean when you built up your cities, there was no point building them beyond the size that gave you the most number of um, settlement buildings, which I think is six. Because over that, all it really did was just create public order problems. And to be honest, over six, you were probably going to have to use one of your building slots just to keep people happy. Um, so not ideal. But I'm, I'm finding that it's not really that many ways. To, I mean, there's the land development, which makes people happy, which I guess is fine as the inn. That makes nobles happy as well. We could go for another school. I'm not over... I'm not... I'm not against the idea, but I kind of want to go for a judiciary. But that, again, upsets people. So maybe, uh, I mean, the commerce I want, we could get rid of this. Well, to be honest, we don't really have... There's no food being built here, really, other than the farming estates. Uh, 
Um, so, okay, let's let's go for a school here. Why why are they unhappy? Faction support. So that will get better. So let's go for a school because that'll make them a little bit happier, and then we can get a judiciary there to help to help offset some of the uh, problems we're having with corruption. So let's then, I guess, how much have we got in? We got in, yeah, okay, let's get more money from industry. So let's do that. Over here, market off it. I mean, it's going to upset the nobles, whatever. That's lessening corruption. Let's do that. Down here, uh, we've got a livestock farm. So anything that increases our food. I mean, currently we're making food here. Even though we're actually creating a lot of income from peasantry. I don't know if that's actually... I mean, it's, it, it seems seems like it's working. So... Let's do let's do that. Let's, do, let's, let's upgrade 50% each. Because it's sort of in a balance between food and also peasantry income. Which, sure, let's do that. And over here, let's go for... And we're spending food here. But we're actually making... Well, how are we making 25 food here? Farming, 33. Uh, really? Oh, I guess, because... Yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, in that case, let's... Let's do that. So we can upgrade... Uh, oh, what do I need? What do I need to do this? Hang on, hang on. What's this? Artisans. What, 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 what? I need that. Industrial stability. Right, we're going to go for industrial stability next. Remind me of that when the time comes. Um, we could upgrade it and then convert it. Is that worth it? Probably not. Uh, let's upgrade the copper mine, because doesn't that give us... Minus 4% corruption faction-wide. Yes, let's do that then. That works for me. And let's, I mean, more more experience. Let's build a better school. Yes, school. Everyone likes school. And we've got a lumberyard and a fishing port here. We're making four food. I mean, I guess let's make more food because then we can sell it to starving people. And over here, they're fairly happy at the moment. We could convert it. Yeah, okay, let's convert it to a tea house, because you know how I feel about tea. I'm all for it, despite the fact I've actually got a cup of coffee at the moment, but um, I don't have the option of coffee at the moment, so we'll just go with tea, I think. Okay, so far, so good. We've got all those buildings going on. That's all fine. I could potentially get... I probably should get another army up, but I keep saying that, and then I don't do it. And then at some point, it'll come back to bite me in the ass. And I will incessantly complain about the fact that I didn't do it in the... Us. Hello, Mal Ren. I don't even know who you are. Who are you? I'm fairly sure I've met you before. Um... Oh, right. You're over there. Uh... All right. May we meet again. And if we do, I'll need to be reminded of who you are anyway, because again, wasn't sure. Oh, you're going for it. Oh, but our reinforcements aren't in range. Hmm. Do we want... I mean, they don't have... I think we'll be alright. And then we'll, we can just wipe out the city afterwards, can't we? Lay down some withering fire on the enemy army as it advances. With our archers in front, taking the brunt of the damage. Fire! Meanwhile, we've got G Militia on the flanks. Raiders on the front. There is Summer Cow. And then in the forest. Now they have, yes. It's become tearing out of the forest. The enemy infantry is already too late. It's now preparing to be they're trying to peel off to deal with the cavalry but in comes our infantry to engage them before they can enemy cavalry advancing they've got three units um so three of our cavalry units now peeling off to go and deal with them being led by Shaoxi 
and Your words are as pathetic as you are words it was, just, it was just one word our cavalry is herding the enemy archers as you can see into a big ball here basically sheep dogging them um so our archers can then concentrate fire on a big old blob of archers and basically can't miss and then of course as soon as they're in a big enough blob we're just going to charge That's going on. The cavalry engagement is over pretty quickly as our cavalry make very, very short work of the enemy cavalry and then move in to mop them up. The enemy infantry is already in serious trouble. The only There's a Dow infantry captain here that is uh, managed to hold the line for a bit, but we are just going to open fire on them and they're going to go down pretty quickly. Elsewhere, the enemy infantry is losing ground. The enemy archers are fleeing off the field, having been wiped out by our cavalry. Our cavalry having destroyed the enemy cavalry, now circling back round. And we're going to get a nice little cavalry charge into the rear of these spears. And that's going... Yeah, look, at, look how much damage they just took. I mean, they basically just wiped out. The enemy infantry, seeing that they're now in a lot of trouble, starts to break and run, and our cavalry just need to mop up. That's going to leave not much in the way of a garrison to, to slow us down. I'll take that. Fight with utter belief, and you will be undefeatable. Uh, I'll just take the replenishment. Doing some spinny, spinny spear action there. Nice work. Good stuff. That means you've ranked up, which is good. Like that a lot. Okay, you are declaring war on Simmer Way. Fair enough. Don't really care about that. Simmer Way was destroyed, so fair enough. Shuan Yu was also destroyed. Good. And you have vassalized that person. Um, sure, whatever. I should probably be paying attention to that because it's probably important, but pfft. who has the time? Am I right? Whoa, holy shit. Look at all this building getting done. Nice. Lots of tea parlors popping up. Now we've got access to tea again, which is lovely. This is what you train for. It really is. Uh, final rush, meh. Endurance. I mean, fatigue resistance is quite nice. So let's grab that. And then we should find that this is going to be pretty bloody easy. Yeah. Let feasting commence! Okay, we lost a, lost a couple of units, but that'll be fine. Shang Wenru, uh, you are populist, intrepid, but spiteful. You're also understanding. Well, that's nice. Um, I do need... I do need strategists. So, you know what? Let's employ you. To restore order. Let's employ you. Right. Justice is on our side. Need to go and take that city. Doesn't look like there's anyone defending it. Uh, let's go. Oh, of course, this iron mine has got this weird sort of like. Reject corruption. Focus your rage. Yeah, focus your rage. It's got this weird sort of like uh, horseshoe our faith was thing going on, so you can only actually get to it round this side, which means you have to walk all the way. Around. It's a pain in the ass anyway. Yeah, that that thing. Right, good stuff. We can go and thank you. Go and lay siege to that. Let's move you over there. We'll grab that one so we can hit these two cities next turn and that should be all she wrote for ruin. Yeah, he. I mean he went down like a ton of bricks, didn't he? Holy balls. Didn't put up much of a fight. Uh, so that's going to give us 400. That's going to give more military supplies. Oh, I'm just going to go. I, I, I'm not, to be honest, I find that military supplies aren't really too much of a problem. And I think that is probably... Let's get this, this upgrade to school. I think that's probably... This is just my hypothesis. The fact that the AI would not be good at using them. Like, they'd either have to like be have a bonus to them, which means that it's unfair, or they, they would struggle with um with maintaining it and that would cause problems so I, I think i suspect that it comes down to the fact that it has to be kind of easy otherwise the ai would just screw it up uh which is a bit of a shame 
Um, but, you know, there we go. More income from commerce, more food. Um, I mean, food-wise, we're actually doing pretty well. So let's get on to livestock. I mean, I guess let's go food because we have more food there than anything else. Uh, let's upgrade. Oh, we're going for... Because we've got the Lombard and Fishing Port. So I kind of want to uh, main... Oh, yeah, I kind of want to balance my food and income. Plus the fact that we've got so much income at the moment that I literally don't want to do it all. You're pretty happy. So we could get the Grand Judiciary, but I do need those artis... Oh no, we got artisans. What do we... Oh, we need Jade, don't we? And we had Jade, but we've lost it. Oh, that's a bugger. That's a bugger, isn't it? Okay, well... Okay, what should I build here, then? What shall I build here? We go for a marketplace. That would give us a little bit more money. Which money are we making at the moment? Mostly, mostly peasantry. Mostly peasantry. So maybe we get government support. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do that. And uh, down here, let's get the tea house. Over here, we've got the fishing port and lumber yard. So that's peasantry income and some commerce. So we've mostly got peasantry income here, but it's not a huge amount. Corruption is not ideal. Um, let's get a judiciary there. I need to offset this, this corruption. It's being a bit of a pain. I need some jade. Where is jade? Can I see... So I know there's jade over here. There's a jade mine there. It's a jade anywhere else. I think jade's quite rare on the map. So there's silk over there. It's definitely jade there. I, th I think there's another jade resource around here somewhere, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. There's spices down here, so that'd be quite nice to have. I'm thinking maybe we take. I mean, we've got Fan Zhao down here, and I'm thinking maybe try and kill him. Because if we could just secure the entire south, I mean, at that point, we're, we're doing pretty well, aren't we? The only thing I'm slightly concerned about. Is what happens here. Because currently most of the princes are still alive. And Sima Yong, if we can find ownership. Yeah, so he controls quite a lot of territory. So he's quite a threat. I'm thinking we should probably get another army up. So let's raise an army over here. So I'm kind of tempted to bring Princess Pei in. I mean... We've got shit tons of influence, haven't we? How much are we getting to a turn? Eight from inst yeah. We don't, we don't need Princess Pay. I mean, Princess Pay could be a good, good commander. She's fifty nine. She's getting on. How old is Simar UA? I need to check that. He might drop dead soon. That's not rubbish. Trust with conviction. I always strike true. do. Right, you're gonna have. Um, so let's go with stability, perception. Okay, let's go perception, bravery, tenacity of steel is really good, Keep diligence is nice. And preserve strength. You don't have archers, so I mean, range block chance is fine, but let's go intensity. So let's do something like that. Insightful survivalist. More satisfaction, income from peasantry, faction wide. Yeah, she's a she's a good character to have. It's a shame there's not more sort of interesting traits. This land is bustling with people. I know. No um, doubt a fine place for trade. Yeah, sure. I would like to see 
I think this is my thing. I would like to see different traits. I'd, I'd like to see characters actually... Okay, so this is my problem in, in Total War Warhammer as well. The traits for your generals are basically shit. I mean, there's literally no point worrying about them. And it's kind of the same in Three Kingdoms, and it's a shame. But there are the occasional characters, the legendary characters, who have interesting traits, unique traits. And I don't mind, like, everyone, you know, like, a big the pool of traits, like, 30. To lose focus. Okay, about 30 traits that have sort of interesting sort of, like, op options. But maybe there should be, you know, a, a drizzling of 50 traits or so that are just sort of, like, random. But people can have them. And if you find those people, you can be like, oh, cool, he's got an interesting trait, let's get him in. But at the moment, it's just like that the named characters have traits, and then everyone else has sort of like, you know, their village chief or something, and it's just boring. Um, so it's, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. Point as one. Bit of a missed opportunity. Uh, right, let's have... Let's have a look. Who could we have? Uh, we got... Who was... We, we recruited someone not long ago. Simard D... So you're just a tactician, and that's just kind of, it's just kind of boring. You're maimed, you're deceitful, you're distinguished, you're concerned, and you're resourceful. Okay, well, that's not the worst. You've got a fair amount of cunning. How old are you? 46. Okay, well, I have you. And uh, you're 71, I'm not taking you. Do I, I should probably get some more... Uh, I should probably get some more. What am I thinking of? The, the the people who don't like that spies. That's it. I should get more. I should get more spies. Do I want you? What are you? Let's have a quick look. Tranquil, solitary, gracious. Okay. There's not many. I'm, I'm half tempted to take you, but you're so old, you're just going to drop dead. Sincere, greedy, vengeful. That's not great. Um, I mean, I've got jade dragons now, so I could probably just take a commander, even though commander, oh, commanders are so boring, though. Uh, you, what a... I mean... Oh, he's almost certainly a spy, isn't he? I mean, he's, he's literally got spy written all over his face. <laughs> Fuck it. Right, okay. Let's get this army up. So, we want uh, warriors. Because these guys are tanky. You are going to have... I kind of want some... Uh, mm. So, Lance Cavalry. So, you've got... Worse everything apart from speed. Is that charge bonus and melee attack? You are more cost effective though. I kind of just like the. I guess these guys have shields as well, so they're actually quite. Let's just get some of those, I guess. I'll, I'll keep some of the Lance Cavalry because they are fairly cost effective and whatever but and uh, let's give you a bunch of these guys because they are pretty awesome you can't go wrong with them and we'll give you a couple of trebuchets as well and that army is looking pretty good although that did cost a lot of money how much is that army just want to double check that Remain firm. it's almost 4k i mean it's not bad is it I mean, that Princess Pei is defending our northern border. That's basically what she's doing. Uh, what else I should be doing is probably checking... Where's our big money makers? Right, down here. So you are lots of industry, some commerce. So anything which gives us more industry... Uh, is there anything that gives us industry? Hmm, maybe not. We can get you to increase our commerce. So let's do that. You do that. You are over here. You're making mostly industry and peasant. So let's send Chu over here to increase that. Oh, you can also increase... I think 50% for peasantry is probably better. And what about food? So you're making the most food. So we could do 50% food production. 
just to like you know really supercharge our food can we sell any of our food then is, i mean can we check to see if there's like anyone who i've oh, got trade agreement Jin empire is there anyone with jade i'm going to assume no they've got silk you would give us the most money i'm yeah all right we accept thanks good good oh we get more trade agreements uh i'm kind of tempted to try and keep you on side so welcome come in thanks that's that's nice um Could we? He never. He's really against the idea. Okay. Well, let's. A reasonable offer. Let's see if we can keep him. On site. Let's see if we can become BFFs with Fang. Good to see you. He currently kind of likes us, but he thinks we're a strategic threat. Treaties with our enemies. Release generals with our enemies. Honored. Okay. Blah blah blah. It's not bad. It's trending upwards we could potentially just be friends with him he could be a good ally maybe we try and keep him as an ally that's probably going to come back to bite me in the ass but sometimes i just want to be friends you know you just you just want to have some friends i don't have any friends i want some friends let's be friends whatever your name is and i completely forgot it that's rude that is, i'm so rude i keep forgetting people's names Bob. I'm going to call you Bob. Bob. We Southern Bob. End your tyranny. Must we? Sima Yan. Against Gu Zhen. Apparently everyone else is 100% behind it. I don't know who he is. That guy. Oh, he is the vassal of the person who we want to be friends with. I'm not going to be able to stop this, am I? We must end your tyranny. Not sure how that's going to go. He would be no threat to you. Uh, Juro, I can't remember who you are. I, I keep seeing your name Very pop well. up, and I'm just kind of like, I, I just I don't care. I think you're someone's like vassal or something, but I'm not that interested to be honest. Okay, so alliance we declared war on that guy. Uh, we're not. Oh, hello. We are at war with you. That's because you are good. Okay, you're down there. Uh, New Disney, build or destroy. So, might or spirits. Uh, there's always a choice that must be made. If one is to achieve greatness before you lie, two options. Build a realm of culture and worth or deny your enemies their advancement by crushing them in the field. Well, I mean, plus 15% melee damage faction-wide feels pretty good. So, maybe we just, just defeat armies? What is our... It's quite a way to go. Morale. Who cares? Let's go. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do. Let's do build because it's more likely to actually have an effect. Um, construction cost reduction and more prestige, which is good. Apparently, we've got the finest armor. What is it? In intellectual vest vestures. Vestures. Good stuff. And we've got some more mind alignment. Good. Although that's going to also upset people. Oh, that doesn't matter. Who cares? Oh, they do have an army. Hello. That's not much of an army, is it? It's a bit rubbish. Remain sharp. It's a bit naff. To war. Gonna be honest, don't think you're gonna survive. I'll Let's bring you heart. down. My lord. Uh, now, we've got a small them. city, so at least we can hold them off for the moment. So... We don't currently border him, but I feel like we're going to end up at war with, with Fan Zhao, aren't we? It's going to happen. I can just see it. I was like, let's be friends. Warrior. Instantly, seconds later, oh no, maybe we'll just kill him instead. Well, there we go. Such is life. Unyielding Earth. I mean, the 100% melee evasion is quite nice. Uh, building up keep. Minus, okay, 50% line of sight. Meh. Replenishment. Meh. Disciplined. Meh. Fire arrows, meh. Chance of avoiding ambush, enables, 
Um, ignore forest. Yeah, you know, ignore forest penalties would be quite nice. So let's grab that one. My aim is precise. I really want to kill you, but I wonder if if we come down here, whether you'll try and use the garrison to smash us with. So let's do something like that and see if they want to try and kill us. Oh, did I? Oh, I delegated. Whoops. It is ours by right. Of course, I had the. I. Mm, I am so smart. Right, you don't have any. Ta you don't have any settlements anymore. You're you're out of settlements. Oh no, no, you do have one. You've got one. You've got one more. What? What do you mean, little? Come, just come down here. That's it. And you can come down here. We've managed to capture all this territory pretty quickly. Uh, we still need to take some of this settlement. Uh, oh, we've got a copper mine here. Yes, let's upgrade that. The fishing ports we probably want to upgrade as well. Simar Key has ranked up. No, he hasn't. It is, in fact, you bow, boning, boning. Yeah, boning. Uh, you can have intuition. Mm, mm. It's not that useful. Precise. Okay, let's go for resourcefulness then. That'll give you flaming shots, which is fine. I kind of want you to come down here. Uh, I think you can march, actually. That way you'll be there in three turns. Then we can go down and grab this trade port. I'm thinking we're going to have to go to war with, with Fanjal. That's just going to be something that happens. Maybe I can peace out with Simore. Welcome, friend. Everyone's kind of about it, so we could do that. I'm going to hold off until I finish off Ruin Shen, though. We'll finish them off, and then we'll worry about that. How's Princess Pei doing? How is she doing? She's doing great. Her army's already up to... Look at that. That's, that's quite a strong army. That is one that could easily crush an enemy army. Fairly strong. I, I think, plus, they're quite high-ranked. How, oh, how old is Simar Yue? That's something I need to check. Is he getting on? Is he getting on? Is he... How old is he? I answer, my lord. 59. He is getting on. Oh, that's not good. He might drop dead any second. Probably. Pro well, I reckon we've got about 50 turns left. That would be my suspicion. About 50 turns and he's probably then going to die. How old is he, Lun? I answer your request, my lord. He's not that much younger. We, we could be in a bit of problems there. And we're going to lose those bonuses, which is a shame. And also a reason why... I feel like the trait should be a little bit more interesting. Um, but we'll worry about that next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Sima UA campaign.